Hi friends, I'm Felicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the first uh, video in a series that I've been thinking about and I still don't really have a good name for. So um, today we're just going to call it my Canadian author exploration project. <laughs> Um, one of my resolutions this year was to read a new to me author um, a new one every month of the year and so today I'm here to talk to you about January's author and that is Stuart McLean. I'm cheating a little bit with um, Stuart McLean because um, I am familiar with his other work but I'm not familiar with his written work so I went with it plus I had some of his books on my shelf that I really wanted to read so yeah, um, so I will start off, I'll tell you a little bit about Stuart McLean. He was born Andrew Stuart McLean, and he was born in Montreal in 1948. He is best known as the host of the Vinyl Cafe uh, radio program on CBC Radio. Um, his career started at uh, CBC. He made radio documentaries in the late 70s um, at CBC, and over the years he began to produce and host um, several other shows. In 1994 the Vinyl Cafe started as a kind of a summer replacement program and by 1997 the show was a, a weekly broadcast. Um, he has written books about the Vinyl Cafe since 1995. In 98 he began taking the show on the road and so now the show is, uh, the broadcast is a mix of recorded in studio and live uh, recordings that he does when the show is on the road. He is also a former professor at Ryerson University in Toronto and a former director of the broadcast division of the School of Journalism. I didn't look up where the School of Journalism is. <laughs> um, and he also has n numerous honorary doctorates from various universities uh, across Canada. In 2011, he was inducted into the Order of Canada for his contributions to Canadian culture as a storyteller and broadcaster as well as for his many charitable activities. So that's pretty cool. He has won the Stephen Leacock Memorial Medal for Humor three times um, over the years. And as well, he has also won two awards from the Canadian Authors Association. He has 13 published works, um, three short story um, essay collections, and then uh, there are 10 books in the Vinyl Cafe series, which are also a collection of uh, short stories. But they are set, um, they are fictional, set in that world that he has created. So I have one of his, um, one of his anthologies, I guess, um, which is When We Were Young, which is a, uh, an anthology of Canadian stories. So this actually features a lot of other Canadian authors, including Margaret Atwood, um, Ella Montgomery, Alice Munro, Margaret Lawrence, Timothy Findlay, and like lots of others. I have not dived into this one yet, but I am hoping to do that soon. Then I own uh, two books from the Vinyl Cafe series. I have Home from the Vinyl Cafe, which is number two. And then I also have the Vinyl Cafe Diaries, which is number four in the series. But you do not need to read the series in order at all. I'm, you can just pick them up. Um, you will become very familiar with the world very quickly. The books outside of the Vinyl Cafe series that he's published are um, The Morningside World of Stuart McLean, Welcome Home Travels in Small Town Canada, and then When We Were Young, which is the collection of Canadian stories. There are 10 books in the Vinyl Cafe series, um, starting with Stories from the Vinyl Cafe, um, and they have been published uh, the first one is published in 95, and the most recent one was published in 2015. The Vinyl Cafe is set in a, um, not actually, I think it's set in a neighborhood in Toronto, is the, what I've gathered so far. Most of the stories in the Vinyl Cafe world of stories, they are about, um, a couple named Dave and Morley, and their family, and their friends, and... Dave is a is the owner of a small record store which is called the Vinyl Cafe and their motto is we're not big but we're small so um, I find that very funny. Most of the stories just take place um, in their neighborhood and just uh, documenting the escapades of their their family and their friends and it's just very humorous. 
Um, they're more um, slice of life stories, so there's not really like huge um, plots, but more just everyday events that happen to them. One of the things that I really enjoy about the Vinyl Cafe is just the way that Stuart McLean really celebrates um, Canadian life. Um, I don't know, but just there's just something about them that feels very Canadian. And I don't know if I can describe it, but it just feels very Canadian. So it's just really awesome just to have that celebrated and um, yeah, just to see the humor in everyday life is another reason why these stories are so great. Um, they're just so funny. Um, one of the stories that I read in the um, in um, Home from the Vinyl Cafe, I was literally crying. It was so hilarious. My husband was very concerned for me because he didn't know what was going on. And I just would, I would highly encourage you to pick up these stories. Um, they're just really enjoyable. You can also um, listen to the Vinyl Cafe radio broadcasts online or you can sign up for their podcast. Um, I believe it's also on Sirius Radio if you are subscribe to that. I'm really looking forward to reading more stories about Dave and Morley. Um, they've become very close to my heart over the the years that I have known about them and um, now having this world of their books open to me is very exciting and I'm really looking forward to it and I hope that um, you will also consider picking up um, these books. I I mean, I don't know if they'll be available at your public library, but they should be readily available on Amazon, I think. So thank you very much for watching this first video in my Canadian author exploration, and I hope that you will stay tuned for the next one. And if you have any suggestions of Canadian authors for me to check out, please leave them down below. The purpose of this is to discover new Canadian authors, not... Um, authors that I have already read so you'll probably be like Felicia why aren't you talking about um, Ella Montgomery like you love her it's because I love her already and I, I'm not and I've read a lot of her books so um, yeah the the purpose is to discover new to me authors so yes please leave any suggestions down below thanks again for watching and I will see you again soon with my next video bye